Cloud bread. This is a trend that has taken TikTok by storm in the past few weeks and I've even been seeing it on Instagram too. It's extremely eye-catching and aesthetically pleasing to watch people break apart this warm, fluffy concoction. It's seriously like magic. And to top it all off, it's only made of three ingredients. Like what kind of wizardry is that? So today, we're gonna see what this is all about and if it's really as easy as it looks. And we're gonna put a few twists on it to add some Asian flair. So let's get this bread. Woo! Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Mei Mei. In today's episode, we are making the famous viral TikTok cloud bread. Now, I've seen this all over my For You page, even on Instagram too, and I've been so curious to try it because it looks so easy to make, like easy enough that I can make it, which means it's pretty freaking easy. And it's only three ingredients, but I did want to like spice it up a little, you know? So I'm going to be doing it three different ways. So let's get started. So the three mandatory ingredients for cloud bread are really simple and I'm pretty sure everyone has these lying around in their pantry. So the first thing we need are eggs, which actually we only need the egg whites, and also some sugar and cornstarch. And that's it. That's all you need for the basic cloud bread. So the first cloud bread I want to make, I just want to make the basic cloud bread and I want to make it really pretty and make it look like it has clouds in it. Uh, we'll see if I can do that, but I want to just try the basic one first to see what it tastes like and then do the variations on it So the first thing we need to do is we need to separate the egg whites and the egg yolks. I'll admit I'm not the best at this But let's see how it goes and I always have to crack them one by one in a bowl first and then separate the yolk like that and then put the egg whites in the mixing bowl because I find that if I just crack things directly into the mixing bowl even if I got two yolks out perfectly, the third one that I crack might break and then it ruins the whole mixture. So I have to do this like three step, three bowl process. Second one in, get that yolk and egg whites in. Last one. All right, we have our three perfectly separated egg yolks and egg whites. So now that we have our three egg whites ready, we need to measure out cornstarch and sugar. The original recipe says 30 grams of sugar and 10 grams of cornstarch, but I think we've learned that Meimei's Kitchen is a little limited in items such as a food scale. So I'm gonna try to figure out how much that is in cups and tablespoons. So let me Google this, hold on. So 30 grams of sugar is 2.35 tablespoons so that's like two and one third tablespoons it says that one tablespoon of cornstarch is 7.5 grams so so one and one third right yeah 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 that makes sense right so 10 grams of cornstarch would be one tablespoon and one teaspoon and 30 grams of sugar would be two tablespoons and one teaspoon Anyway, I've been searching this too long. Let's get measuring. <laughs> okay, so for the cornstarch, we need one tablespoon and one teaspoon. And for the sugar, we need two tablespoons and one teaspoon. So we have our 30 grams of sugar and our 10 grams of cornstarch. So let's start making the meringue thing. So we're gonna whip our egg whites until they get a little foamy and then we're gonna add the cornstarch and sugar gradually. See, it's a little bit foamy, so I'm gonna add some of the sugar in. Now I'm actually gonna add a few drops of this blue food dye coloring, and then I'm gonna add the cornstarch in. Whoa. All right, we have our blue meringue here, and also when I was mixing it, I realized that I wanted it to be part blue, part white, so that I could have like blue as a sky and the white as like the clouds in it. But I realized I messed up, so um, I'm gonna try making that later, and I'll post it to my Instagram. So if you wanna see that, check out my Instagram post. But yeah, let's get to assembling this on the baking sheet. I'm gonna plop this down on there. Whoa. And I've seen people have that nice like icing knife, like the thing that you use to like frost cakes and make it look nice and smooth, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna try to use this butter knife. I don't know what kind of shape I'm going for, but I'm just trying to make it like a nice spherical mound. I don't know. It looks super fluffy, so I think that's a good sign. Okay, I don't know if this is really a spherical mound. It's kind of more ovalish, but I think that's the best I can do. So we're gonna pop this in the oven at 300 degrees for like 25 to 30 minutes. 
and then it'll be ready and we can taste it and break it open and get that nice cloud bread breaking open shot. So yeah, let's put it in the oven. So here we have our cloud bread and this definitely kind of looks like a loaf of bread. It's still a little hot, but it feels nice and fluffy. Has this nice brown outer crust. I hope I don't break it. Whoa. This part definitely looks kind of like sponge cake. It's still a little hot, but I kind of want to just open it. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Wow, look at that. It's so fluffy and spongy, literally like a cloud. It has such a nice texture. Look at it breaking apart like that. Oh my gosh. I'm like addicted to watching it break apart. It's so pretty. Let's do a taste test. Hmm. It like does really melt in your mouth, like the, the inside part. The brown part is a little like harder and chewier because it's like, you know, the crust, but the inside is so fluffy. Wow. It actually doesn't taste bad. I heard that people said that it doesn't taste good. I don't think it doesn't taste good. I think it tastes kind of good. It reminds me so much of like souffle pancakes. It's really eggy, but it's good. Mm, mm. So I'd say that first round was a success. So I'm actually super excited for the other two. So for the second one, I'm going to be using ube extract to try to make a ube cloud bread, which I think would be really pretty in color. And also hopefully it would add to the taste. So it doesn't taste so eggy and maybe people would like it more. It's looking nice and foamy. I'm gonna add in the cornstarch and then I'm gonna add a little bit of ube. And if I need more, I can add more. All right, those peaks look pretty stiff. I'm literally in love with this purple color. It's so pretty, like a lavender-ish, but a little bit more on the pinky side. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. Okay, so now we got our parchment paper. I'm gonna dump this on there. <laughs> Just one big blop. Hopefully my shaping skills will help it. Hey, this one actually turned out pretty good. I feel like my spherical dome uh, shaping skills are getting better. Okay, let's put this in the oven. Now, while that's in the oven, we're gonna make the third one, which is pandan extract. Basically, we're just gonna do the same thing as ube one, but using this extract. So let's get started. It's nice and foamy now. We're gonna add in the cornstarch and also some of the pandan extract. But if that's not enough, we can always add more. All right, that looks pretty good. I feel like the camera is not picking up the color correctly, but it's this really nice like light pastel green with a little hint of like a neon green in it. And it's so cute. And I think something that might be a little fun is to maybe add like a little bit of green food dye. See if we can get like I don't know, a swirl. I don't know if that did anything, but we're just gonna go with it. Now we got our pan with parchment paper. Add this big fluffy green blob. And now you guys know the drill. Gotta do our spherical, uh, what did I call it? Spherical mound? What did I even say? I don't even remember. Anyway, I'm shaping it into like a half circle. <laughs> Alrighty, it's looking pretty good and there's still about 10 minutes on the timer so I guess it's just gonna sit here. I hope it doesn't make it like deflate or anything. I guess we'll see. Okay, so the timer just went off. I'm gonna take the ube one out of the oven and put the pendant one inside the oven. Oh my gosh, it's actually kind of pink. The outside, usually it's like brown but this one is a little pink on the outside. There's that sponge cakey texture. All right, let's break this open. Whoa, oh my gosh. It's so pretty, purple. And it's ube, so of course I need mom to come help taste test with me. Uh, mom! Yeah! Here's a new creation. Ooh. Uh, it's called cloud bread. What is cloud bread? I don't know, it's like this new like viral internet thing. <laughs> well, it looks fluffy. How okay. should I attack it? Here, just grab a piece. 
Yeah, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it, this it, one is falling apart a little more. I probably should have left it in the oven a little longer. I, I can't wait. Okay, okay, cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's a little bit more squishy than like angel food cake or something mm -hmm. like that. The consistency is not exactly right because the first time I made it, it was a little more solid. It's even more fluffy than my souffle pancake. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it kind of tastes like souffle pancake too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it kind of just melts in your mouth. It is, it does. It has a very, very subtle ube flavor. Well, I have another one in the oven right now. And it's- Is the uh, same color? No, it's a pandan one. Oh, so it's I like green. that. E I'll call you back when the pandan one's here. All right. Okay, we have our pandan cod bread. I left it in about three minutes longer. So hopefully it's cooked all the way through. I think the last one, it just kind of like was breaking apart everywhere. Let's break this one open. Ooh, oh my gosh, yes. Oh, you even see the kind of little darker green that I tried to swirl in there. Didn't do a great job with that, but it's actually much greener than I expected it to be. Mom! Oh. This is the panda one I was telling you about. Wow, the color is very interesting. When you break it apart, it's like so pretty. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm, so fluffy. Mm. Mm. Very I think this has panda flavor. Yeah. Actually, the panda one, I'm surprised. I thought I would like the ube one the best. Another one. This is great. Mm. Really strong flavor. Mm. It's gonna be my favorite now. It's interesting that they call it bread because I kind of think it's more like a cake. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It should be it's cloud not, cake, not cloud bread. It's actually a foam. A foam. It's not even a cake. It's a foam. <laughs> it's kind of like a little bit cotton candy kind of feel too. This might be a bad time to tell you, but there's like only one egg left in the fridge because I use them all for these cloud How cakes. How many <laughs> eggs do you need for each uh, thing? Three. And I made three different ones. But then I also kept messing it up. So, you know, there was like some casualties. So. You might need to buy some eggs for the fridge. All right. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh no. See, I already messed up one of the eggs. Let's, let's pretend that didn't happen. You have some on your face. Hmm. <laughs> Which side? No, here and on your chin. Wait, you just you just took it from your lip and smeared it onto your chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, there you go. Oh.